Welcome back, everybody, to DHL Pro Tips for Brawl Stars. Today, I'm very fortunate to be joined by Joker of Reply Totem. Joker, how you doing, man? Thank you, Ark. Thank you for having me here. It's a pleasure for me. And as you can see, I'm here at the Totem Bootcamp. We're preparing for Worlds. Dude, it looks phenomenal there. The jerseys, oh, chef's kiss to that. Let's take a moment, Joker, to talk a little bit about yourself because you are an incredibly interesting guy. You speak a multitude of languages. You've got tons of hobbies also. I want to ask, do you feel then that what you do outside of Brawl Stars can have a direct impact on what you do inside Brawl Stars? Yeah, I would definitely say so. Like uh, something my dad always tells me is like, if you want to be a professional, like you need to be also physically fit, not only mentally. So yeah, I used to play football, so I'm in a good shape of form, I would say. And um, I also play chess. And that's a very strategic game, as you know. And I think with the addition of draft in the, this year in competitive, that's really helpful because you, you can like plan strategies and like I have just like a strategic mindset. And um, I think also another thing with chess is that like you you always think step, steps ahead, you know, like you you try to be steps ahead of your opponents. And I would say that helps me in process too. And as you said, uh, I speak some languages and <laughs> I think that helps me because uh, obviously when I joined Totem, like before they were talking Italian, and now we're trying to speak on English, but sometimes they still communicate in Italian. So it helps me to <laughs> understand what they're saying. Now we've got to talk about the draft, Joker. I know this is a topic very dear to your heart. You've got a very firm understanding of it and you're always discussing it with players in other regions also. So what then are the most common mistakes that you see people making when they draft? And what advice would you give to aspiring players looking to improve their draft? Um, I would say a common mistake is like just people are copying other drafts. Like, oh, you see, oh, Zeta is playing this brawler. Let's copy it. Or your totem is playing this. Let's play this. I think like what you need to do is like figure out what it, what is your play style and work on by that. Like we, for example, we we have like an aggressive play style, so that's why we're drafting things like Max, things like Stu, like these aggressive brothers. So I would say that's like the most important thing. Like adapt your draft to your play style and don't really just copy the other drafts because um, yeah, you don't know the thought process behind it. Like. <laughs> You can have the best draft in the game, but if you don't feel comfortable or if you don't know the strategies, like how to play it, then it's not going to help you win the game. So I would say that, like, figure out what are your strengths and what are your weaknesses and, like, just work on the draft by that. Joker in Brawl, it's no secret. You are a technical mastermind. There's no doubt about it. With that in mind, you know, talk us through some of the brawlers that you really enjoy playing and give us some of the reasons why you feel it suits your play style. I mean, yeah, as we said before, like, I like these aggressive brothers, like the Max and like the Stu. And uh, what I really enjoy about them is like just the mobility. Like you can glide around the map, travel around the map, like quick yeah, with Stu. Like you can cycle your supers. You basically have super all the time. You just need to hit one shot. And with Max, it's like you can speed up the game, like speed up your, your teammates with like the super and just um, move quick. And um, I, I enjoy to play the game fast. I don't really want to play passive. so. Yeah, I really enjoyed those two brothers. Sadly, Joker, that's all the time we have for today in this special episode of DHL Pro Tips for Brawl Stars. But thank you so much for your time and for your valuable expertise. And to everyone watching at home, thank you to you. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.